Hello everybody, I'm Anthony Quigney and I'm here with my son Aidan and uh, we're here with uh, John this morning. John, thank you very much for, uh, for, for having us and um, I've just recorded a new flute album which I called Breathtaking and um, we're going Who to try... That? Who chose that title? Who was chose it your son or yourself? It was, it was a collective between the whole family, but actually I have to give credit to Aidan, actually. <laughs> we had loads of different titles, absolutely loads of different cracked and crazy ones. 2D fluting. Oh yeah, that was another one, yeah. Uh, there was a lot of midlife crisis and a whole lot of them were included. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so just one night, one night uh, breathtaking, Aidan said it and we said, that's it, that's, that's it. Sounds good. Yeah. Okay. So, um, so we'll try a couple of... Um, a couple of jigs from it. Um, the first one is called The Stig. The second one is Tell Her I Am. And the third is Old Tipperary or Shan Tipperlorn. So, here we go. <laughs> Thank you. 
very much for being here and uh, people in, in the cloud will notice the different kind of a studio so that's because of Aidan here yeah. he decided to bring a big bulky Roland yeah. with him and we had to go upstairs <laughs> yeah. but listen I always kind of thought about yourself as a band member with, with, with the Kilfenora do you feel a bit nuded when you're playing by yourself <laughs> do you feel a lot more vulnerable is what I'm saying yeah um, I suppose so yeah for for a long time you always had I always had the security of having the band around uh, around me and um, yeah that was uh, it probably was maybe the, the reason why I didn't do the recording for a long time was just that kind of uh, just <laughs> that vulnerability you know about about doing it but yeah it's one of those things you so what brought the do. decision on then why was it right to do it now because I mean, the last time you recorded was Clear Conscience a long time ago. Nineteen years ago. Nineteen yeah. years 19 ago, years my ago. God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. A lot of family pressure, I kind of think. <laughs> want him to do it, kind of. Okay. That was, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that was that was a, a lot of it. Yeah, yeah. The kind of a, yeah, family pressure as opposed to peer pressure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's yeah. great to see father and son yeah. because I've recorded here a lot of times and I've never had father and and son or father and daughter or mother or, or anything. Yeah. So it's a first. So. <laughs> That's amazing. I'm surprised about that. Yeah, but yeah, yeah look at that. That was a big kind of. Uh, you know what? I suppose I was kind of waiting. I waited. I didn't know what I was waiting for when I was going to record it. Um, I wasn't sure. And I suppose I was just waiting for maybe for for him to be ready for it. So mm -hmm. okay. Um, I don't know. You know, subconsciously maybe. But uh, yes, it was great for it to, yeah. to have him on it uh, with me. So and then we also had. Um, a great, great kind of lineup and crew. So I didn't feel, uh, as you say, how did you? Was the word you used? Nude, was it? Um, <laughs> musically so, nude. Yeah, yeah, musically <laughs> nude. Yeah, yeah. Having, uh, had uh, Conal O'Kane on on guitar, guitar and right. um, Sharon Howley on cello, and um, uh, Emer Howley on on fiddle, uh, Brian O'Grady on the double bass, and Dermot Sheedy on sure. on baron. So. Oh. Great, okay. great help and support. Uh, right, yeah. Well, it's great support here because I know this young fellow from Flares, and I think the last time I saw you was in Flair when you, when you won an under fifteen or was under it under eighteen, under eighteen, 18, 18 yeah, concertina yeah. in Ireland, which yeah, is fantastic. Okay, it's great to Thank see. You, yeah, yeah. And uh, another thing, you're with the Kilfenora, but you're from East Clare. Yeah. So have have the Tulla ever come near you and offered a transfer fee to get you out of that? <laughs> well. Uh, all my youth was was with was 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 playing with Tulla. Like I mean, all my all my youth was playing with groups and uh, in Tulla. And I, you know, trained a few Cayley bands, under eighteen Cayley bands in Tulla in the in my day. And then just when I was what twenty, uh, maybe yeah, twenty twenty one. Um, yeah, I got the transfer call. You got the call, and, and uh, who who approached you initially about that? That was John Lynch. John Lynch. Was John, I never heard of him. Didn't know who he was from Adam. This John right. Lynch guy rang me on the telephone. Will you play? You know. It's, and it was big. It was through Aidan McMahon, big, uh, who I played in Clear Conscience with. Because Aidan's Aidan was originally, you know, Aidan's, Aidan's was already father in, or mother is from Tully. No, I'm totally yes, wrong. Yes, Aidan's father is from Tully. Sure, that's very right. that's true indeed. Yeah, yeah. Um, but uh, Aidan was with the with the, the band already, and um, so they they needed a flute player, and um, yeah, I got the luckily got the call. So brilliant, so, and been happy but, ever since. Yeah, but uh, st we still still meet up with all of the our our our, our friends from uh, from from Tulla and all the groups that I grew up playing with there as well. Sure. So like to play uh, right. as often with them as possible. So. Okay, right, and. It's it comes at a strange time because I suppose the whole idea about these albums is that you have a series of launches. Okay, so yeah. that was quite impossible. But you you had the Innes Treadfest launch. How did that go? Yeah, oh, it was lovely to it was lovely to just I suppose given everything that has happened over the last uh, almost uh, two years, it was lovely to at least have that that launch. But look at I mean we are we, um, uh, we are, we remain hopeful and hope for, sure. for in the in, in the year ahead that there'll be a couple of more opportunities for, for launches. So we yeah. get working on that now in the in the new year. Great. Now I'm thinking of East Clare as well and I'm thinking maybe of a dearth of, of flute players out in East Clare. How did you descend on the flute or how did it happen? Yeah. Or who would have been your influence as a girl being a flute player? Who was my influence? Well uh, you know, I think I just got kinda handed the flute. It was a man like that had been kind of coaching us and teaching us and, and that and bringing us along and, and and one day we were above in Spanish Point um, and I was nine I think and uh, on our way home from Spanish Point we came back by Kilmele, uh and called into Peter O'Loughlin's house Lovely. and um, I didn't know this was happening at all and uh, a flute was bought on the day 
and brought home and um, came home and my dad said uh, uh, when he uh, asked how much was the flute he said god to buy a great bullock <laughs> but, uh, that was the that was the, that was the start of the flute playing and who, who taught you in or sorry uh, anthony um, excuse me um a couple of, i suppose my mam you know kind of got us started us and then it was more or less myself until i was very lucky and privileged that during the 1980s, Matt Malai lived here in Ennis. He did, out in Ballyella, I think, out that uh, way somewhere. And he, um, we met him in Queensworth one day, didn't know him from Adam. Right. Uh, he didn't know us from Adam, should sure. I say. We, we knew who he was. But, um, uh, and uh, my parents told him that I was a, kind of, I was learning the flute. And just like that, he so kindly said, uh, should bring him in, bring him into the house and should we'll have a few tunes. Beautiful. And, um, that started a time, you know, a time where I used to go in every so often to Matt and mm. sure, like, how how lucky was I to be able to do sure. that, and that was kind of, you know, that was my, I suppose, my teaching, and kind sure. of just... And it must have been very immediate then, the sense that you were teaching yourself, so obviously there were bad habits everywhere, so yeah. the minute you met Matt, things must have fallen Oh nicely. yeah, I remember, I can still remember, like, you know, things that he told me when I was like 13 or 14, I absolutely can still remember, I'm like, and... You know, you know, holding the flute and kind of keeping the fingers, you know, from being the small ones being down because sure. they would restrict movement. And you know, I was remember him telling me, you know, play the tunes slowly until you know them properly. Then you can play them fast if you like. Right. Make sure you play them, play them Brilliant. slowly. Brilliant. Yeah, I just said the, the choice, the choice of tunes, and that's sure they were perfect. For I know, them, I know. For, for learning flute. The king of all of them. Oh yeah. Oh, and no. listen, uh, do, do you feel inadequate in any way inadequate with a son a multi All Ireland winner? Okay, I mean, what I'm saying <laughs> is, do you, do you, do you, also, you is he multi as well? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you. Not gonna... <laughs> but uh, no, it's great, it's great to be able to um, just to, to 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 play together. You know, it's, um, I suppose music is one of those things that you know you can play, you can play with, you know. The next generation, sure, uh, and not feel too inadequate I know. <laughs> ah, yeah, <laughs> about, I know. about doing it. But uh, you know, it's great to. That's brilliant. Listen, thanks a lot for coming. It's great to have you in studio number two. <laughs> so, number uh, two, yeah. Good luck with the rest of it. Whatever happens in the future. Okay? Thanks, John. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.